What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris Jordan here and today I'm going to give you four tips and maybe even more tips on how to be more confident when it comes to basketball. If you're not confident when it comes to basketball, you're going to lead yourself into a self-fulfilling prophecy on being bad at basketball. You're going to be missing shots, you're going to be missing layups, you're going to be blowing the most obvious lay smoking layups, and it's just going to be terrible for you. So I'm going to give you four tips on how to be more confident in basketball. And I'm telling you, watch the video all the way through because if you don't, you're going to be trash. I'm telling you, you're going to be missing jump shots you usually make. You're going to be missing threes you usually make and you're going to get ripped and you're going to get embarrassed and you're going to have those people who tell you, uh, don't worry about guarding him or let him shoot. You don't want to be that guy. So let's get straight into the video. So the first tip is mindset. And what I mean in my mindset is that when it comes to basketball, you need to walk into the gym feeling and knowing that you could dominate every single person on the court, whether they're high school level, pro level, college level, you need to walk in the gym knowing you could dominate every single person on the court. This is my mentality whenever I walk into the gym, no matter if I'm playing with college players or even people who probably played in the pros before, no matter what, I walk into the gym with this type of mindset. Some tips that I believe that helps with your mindset, imagining yourself playing a good game before you even play the game. So what I used to do when I used to be nervous all the time before games in high school or even in junior high, what I used to do is I used to imagine myself playing the game, making shots and actually feeling those emotions. So I would make a shot, I would feel the emotion of me being satisfied with it. I would make it as detailed as possible. And then by the time the game came or by the time it was time to play the game, I was actually more confident. That is just one tip. That's probably the biggest tip that I can actually give you. Like I said before in many other videos, Michael Jordan imagined shooting thousands of shots in his head before he ever hit buzzer beaters and even hit the uh probably one of the best moments of all time when it comes to clutch buzzer beaters. I forgot what team it was against, but it's an iconic uh shot. And he said he's imagined that shot thousands of times before he ever got on court. And that kind of manifested. So you need to do that. You need to improve your mindset. If you walk in the gym, if you don't walk in the gym confidently, people are going to sense that they're not going to even want to play with you. Because obviously, when I play, if I pick up teams, if I sense that you're not confident in your ability, I'm not going to pick you up. So be confident, walk into the gym knowing that you could dominate every single person, no matter what. Now, let's go on to the second tip. So the second tip is the most obvious. Put in the work. Don't be one of those people who say they're going to do this and going to do that, but never actually put in the work you need to to become a better basketball player. So, for example, if I give you drills or you watch somebody else who gives you drills or you want to learn how to do a move or whatever, whichever place you're learning from, what you need to do is watch that video, take note of it. And then as soon as that video is over, you need to go outside and implement it. You need to go to a basketball court. You can stay in your garage. You can do it inside. I don't care where you do it. You just need to put in the work because without putting in the work, you're never going to get to where you want to go. You can't just be a couch bum and hope that you get better at basketball and then be disappointed a week later when you go into a gym and you're absolute trash and people are just blatantly disrespecting you. So put in the work. That is probably the number one, number two, I say number two, but number one thing you need to actually do to feel more confident in basketball. Because if you put in the work, you know you've put in the work, obviously that's gonna translate over to your game, which is gonna make you more confident. So that's the second tip. Let's get to number three. Now, number three, I see people and players suffer with this a lot. And I always like to say, failure is necessary to achieve success. Without failure, you will never achieve success. If anyone's told you that they've been perfect and they've been successful on every first attempt that they've done in their life, they're just bull jiving you. Let's just be honest about it. You have to fail in order to learn and succeed. So whether you're doing drills and you mess up on a drill or you're in game and messing up on a shot or whatever, take those failures, learn from them, reverse engineer what happened and what went wrong and then improve upon it on the next time. So for example, Let's just say I'm doing a Kyrie Irving crossover uh, move and I keep messing up on it. It's better for me to figure out why something went wrong than me just give up and just quit on doing the move. Go into the, do not go into the cycle of thinking bad thoughts and getting down on yourself and being hard on yourself. Like I said, failure is necessary to achieve success. And this obviously goes back to number one on the list, which is mindset. Honestly, without failure, if you don't fail at anything and you say you're perfect, I just know you're bull driving and 
that's just it that's just what it is and if you are bull driving you're just a damn liar and we don't like liars around here on chris Jordan tv so that's it for number three now let's get to the final tip number four now with this one i've seen players and even the best players i've played with do this and number four is don't dwell on mistakes i've seen people who are as skilled at me more skilled than me suffer with this and what i mean by don't dwell on mistakes let's just say we're let's just say we're in a game or we're in a recreation league and let's just say we miss a shot and you're one of those people if you miss like three or four shots in a row you just believe you have an off game you're not going to do good and all that other stuff do not be that type of person if you miss four or five shots don't dwell on that and then get into the cycle of thinking that you're having a bad game or your shot is off it's all bull drive. It's all in your head. You need to, you need to, if you miss four or five shots, for example, this is what I do. If I miss a ton of shots, I literally completely forget about it. If I miss a shot five seconds later, I didn't forgot I even took the shot. Literally, I've been had people ask me, hey, do you remember the shot you made? Or hey, do you remember this shot you missed that bad? I was like, no, I don't remember it. Like I literally treat mistakes like I have amnesia, literally. So don't dwell on that. I've seen this guy uh, I play with them all the time. Uh, he plays good when we're playing with people, not even people around our skill set, but with people in general, like people he's comfortable with or whatever. But as soon as we step up in competition or play against people who's either taller, more skilled than us or whatever, if he misses like three or four shots, he'll start to get down on himself, have a bad game. I mean, he starts to believe he's having a bad game. He starts to dwell on all that. He may not know it, but basically by him doing this, he's basically telling himself that he's not good and he's losing confidence as the game goes on. It even gets to the point to where he starts making excuses about people fouling him and everything when really it's just him playing bad and it's all in his mind. I've told people this many times when people ask me, how do I get over bad games if I have one? Or how do I continue to play even if I'm ha if, even if I'm having a bad game, and what I always say is, have amnesia when it comes to mistakes in the game. Don't dwell on it. And also, if you are having a bad game, like for example, if I miss ten shots or whatever, one thing I do is I do my best to contribute to the team other than just scoring. So obviously, I try to contribute as much as possible to the team, but I'm a scorer first. That's just what I do. So. If I'm having a bad shooting day or scoring day or whatever, I immediately go to playing better defense, uh, getting more rebounds for the team because like I said before, rebounds win you games. So I go back to rebounding, playing better defense, passing the ball, but that does not mean I stop taking shots. If I have an open shot or I feel like I can knock down a shot, I will shoot. I'm not going to dwell on me missing a bunch of shots or having a bad game, getting the ball stolen or whatever. I'm still going to be aggressive and play as aggressive as I think I need to be. But it's not going to get to the point where I just take myself out of the game. And that's a lot. That's a problem I see with a lot of basketball players. So don't dwell on mistakes. I'm telling you. But that's basically all the four tips. Now, the reason I put mindset at the beginning is because I believe, as well as Tony Robbins and a bunch of other people believe, that 80% of success is mindset and 20% of success is this actual skill set that means if you can if you have your mind figured out and you have that mentality figured out 80 percent of it of your success is going to come from that mindset just from not giving up on yourself not dwelling on mistakes uh being confident with your skill set putting in the work putting in the work is only 20 percent psychologically when it comes to the game you need to have that mentality that aggressive mentality to be a better basketball player and just to be more confident on the court i was actually going to tell you guys a study about the mindset imagination thing i'm probably going to tell you in another video but there was a study where they studied people who put in work in the gym shooting free throws and how much the percentage increased compared to the people who didn't do anything, sat on a couch and their percentage, and then compared to the other group, the third group, which are the people who only imagined uh, shooting the ball and their percentage increase or decrease. But I'm probably gonna do that in another video, but that's basically it for all the tips I have when it comes to being confident, when it comes to basketball. I'm telling you these things work, implement them immediately. Don't be that guy. Like I said, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that people say, or leave him open, or don't worry about playing defense on him, uh, give him space or whatever. You don't want to be that guy if you 
are not confident in basketball. So you need to be confident in basketball because confidence is the main thing when it comes to being successful. So that's basically it for the video. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. It only takes one second to subscribe. Just click the button. Stop being a bum. Click the button, subscribe to the channel, and congratulations if you're those, those people who watched the video all the way through because now you're not going to be trash on the court. You're going to be confident whatever court you walk on, whether it's pro level, high school level, college level, whatever. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on all my social media on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, everything. Just follow me on everything. But that's basically it for the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.